Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, the Pledge to the Texas Flag, and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. Good morning, Diamondbacks. Today is Wednesday, April 12th. Here are today's announcements. Seniors, if you still need to take a TSI exam, go by the GO Center to sign up. The Euler TSI test will be available on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at 8 a.m. and the Math TSI on Tuesdays and Thursdays beginning at noon. For any questions visit Ms. Zuniga in the GO Center. Also, if you have not completed your FAFSA application, be sure to attend the FAFSA Submittal Night on Thursday, April 20th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the library. Remember that submitting your FAFSA application is a graduation requirement. Diamondbacks Prom will be held on Saturday, May 6th at Bally's Terrace in Mission. Tickets are on sale now through My School Bucks. You can find the link by scanning the QR code on your screen. Only juniors and seniors at Pioneer can purchase a ticket. If you are bringing a guest that does not go to PHS, you will need to get approval by filling out the non-PHS guest form. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Hellett in room 221. Seniors, sign up for your cap and gown portrait. Go by room 164 to sign up today. And lastly, we leave you with the standard response protocol video to review our safety guidelines. Why is this stuff important? There are things the adults don't like to talk about, but if things happen at school, I need to have a plan. And I need to know that the adults have a plan, so I'm going to talk about the standard response protocol. It's all about these simple actions. The first action is hold. Stay in your classroom, clear the hallways. The second action is secure, get inside, lock outside doors. The third action is lockdown, locks, lights, out of sight. The fourth action is evacuate, a location will be announced. The fifth action is shelter, the hazard and safety strategy will be announced. So let's get started and learn about hold. Hold in your classroom or area, clear the halls. Hold in your classroom or area, clear the halls. Something is happening in the halls and the school needs to get it sorted out. So we'll stay in our classroom even if the bell rings. Try to do classwork, but remind your teacher to lock and close the classroom door. Won't I be marked tardy for my next class? Not during a hold. And if I'm in the cafeteria or the gym? Depending on what's happening, you might be asked to stay in your area if you aren't in a classroom. Unlike a lockdown, a hold can be released with a PA announcement. Students, all clear, the hold is released. All clear, the hold is released. I'm James. I'm a school resource officer. Kids, get inside. Hustle. Secure. Get inside. Lock outside doors. Secure. Get inside. Lock outside doors. Why are we doing it? We're doing this because something is happening in the neighborhood near the school and we have to get you guys inside. Could be crimes out there. Could be riots. Could be a dangerous animal. Could be zombies. James, zombies aren't real. You don't know that. Here's what happens. Get everyone inside. But inside, you just keep everything normal. Even class changes stay on schedule, except between buildings. Initially, nobody can come in or go out of the building. Depending on what's happening, your teacher may ask you to text your parents and tell them not to freak out. School is happening just like normal. And if they show up, they probably won't be let in anyway. That's right, nothing to see here. Chill. Secure is just staying inside. Sometimes it's a pain, like when school gets out or during lunch, but usually you won't notice much. What about lockdown? This is serious. Pay attention because something bad is happening in the school. Oh, things adults don't want to talk about. First, I'm going to talk about stuff that we do know, data and research about attacks at schools. Then I'm going to talk about what to do depending on where you are. 
First of all, 70% of these are over within 5 minutes. 90% are over in 10 minutes. Heavy. First, let's look at one thing that they have learned. An attacker has hardly ever gotten through a locked classroom door. Hardly ever. Where do you see that? Get on the web and look at the Sandy Hook Commission report. The FBI has some stuff too. Lockdown. Locks, lights, out of sight. Lockdown. Locks, lights, out of sight. So the teacher will lock and close the door. Right. Then what happens? I got this. First, we're going to get out of sight of the corridor window. What else are you going to do? Then we're going to get low on the floor. I'm going to make sure I can't see out of the corridor window. Then I'm going to take a deep breath and focus. This is an important five or ten minutes. I'm even going to silence my phone or turn it on Do Not Disturb. Turn off your data and Wi-Fi too. This helps the first responders keep their internet access. But can I text my parents? Yes, but not at first. Your teacher will probably have you wait about five minutes until it's safe. If it's safe, a few of you at a time can text your parents. Here's what to text. I'm okay. We're in a lockdown. I'll update you every five minutes. I'm going to add this. I love you guys. Text your parents. Don't text your friends. Don't post on social media. Duh. Here's one thing. A lockdown can be scary and it's probably going to last a long time. I need you to support each other. Listen to your teacher. What else do you keep in mind? Don't open the door for anyone. What if they say it's the police? Like this. Police, open the door! I don't know if it's really the police or someone trying to fool me, so I'm not going to open the door for anybody or even say anything. Right. Law enforcement or an administrator will unlock and open the door. Same thing with an announcement on the PA. You're going to stay here until the administrator or police comes and opens the door. What about the fire alarm? When we're in a lockdown, we're going to treat a fire alarm a little differently. Unless it's really a fire in the room, we're going to initially stay put. Although I might look at other ways to get outside. If you're in the hallway, cafeteria, or gym, try to get behind a locked door or try to get out of the building. Remember, five minutes, so go quick. Think about other locking doors like staff bathrooms and some offices. The student bathrooms are probably a last resort. No locking doors, but at least you can get out of sight. This is a good time to talk about evacuate. Sometimes we just need to leave the building. Depending on what's happening, we might be asked to leave our stuff. Or we may be asked to bring it. If your phone's in your pocket, keep it there. If you hear lockdown and aren't in a locked classroom, remember self-evacuation is another option. That means getting out of the building and going to a safe place quickly. Once you're there, call your parents, tell them you're okay. The school might also give you an emergency number to contact. What happens when police release a lockdown? Police or an administrator will open the door and begin the classroom evacuation. Now, don't be surprised if they are a little loud or they keep shouting, show me your hands. Got it. They're going to be loud and keep my hands empty and visible. Can I bring my stuff? Probably not. Just what's in your pockets. They'll probably bring us to a secure assembly area like a cafeteria or a gym before moving us to where our parents can pick us up. At the assembly area, don't be surprised if an officer searches you. They just want to make sure there's nothing dangerous out there. Got it. They're going to be loud. They're going to search us. If you think about it, you're probably going to be stressed, so it's going to feel a little more intense than it really is. They are probably going to be a little stressed. They probably don't know you, but we all have the same goal in mind to keep you safe. So what you're saying is cut everyone a little break, and we can actually help reduce their stress and our parents' stress. Okay, there's one more action. Let's talk about shelter. Different schools might do different things, but here are some examples of what might be announced. Tornado, get to the storm shelter. Earthquake, drop, cover, and hold. Hazmat, seal doors and windows. Tsunami, get to higher ground. This is important. I was in fourth grade at Sandy Hook Elementary School on December 14, 2012. I got out. My little brother was at Sandy Hook too. He got out, but it was a close call. My older brother and sister were at the middle school. It was a tough day for them too. So I just need to have a plan, have some options. And you need to know the adults have a plan too. I was the school resource officer at Arapahoe High School in 2013 when the attack happened there. I'm going to ask you to do one more thing. When you go home today, talk to your parents. Tell them about what you learned today. That's all we have for today. This has been your Daily Diamondback.